Whereas, you know, the way it was, I was uh, in limbo. You know, I was stuck in nowhere. Craig Rubenstein var 22 år, da han fløj helikopter i golfkrigen. Et halvt år efter han var kommet tilbage til USA, blev han syg. Han fik muskelkramper, hårdtab, træthed, ledsmerter og hovedpine. Han fik flyforbud i månedsvis. Like I did two more weeks at Walter Reed, and that time they really put me through the ringer, doing every test. I mean, they took bone marrow, everything. It, it wasn't fun, and it was all for nothing. They didn't find anything. And uh, the whole time I was telling them about Dr. Hyman, and they're just blowing him off. Well, he, uh, he couldn't possibly have, have figured this out if, if, you know, us geniuses here at Walter Reed couldn't figure it out. Mange af de syge har ikke råd til behandling. Craig Rubenstein's forældre tog et lån i deres hus for at skaffe pengene. I, f- I fly the AH-64 Apache attack helicopter. It's the most advanced attack helicopter in the world. It's a 14 million dollar aircraft. And uh, to train an Apache pilot costs around a million dollars. And uh, the treatment costs in the neighborhood of $25,000. And to me, that's, that's peanuts compared to... Uh, You know what's $25,000 to a million dollar pilot? It's nothing. Efter at Dr. Heiman er begyndt at behandle operation Ørkenstorm syndromet, har han været i konflikt med ministeriet for krigsveteraner. Gary Susbands sygdom har kostet ham alt hvad han ejer. For at overleve er han nødt til at være i dette miljøbeskyttede værelse. Han lider af petrokemisk forgiftning. Han har hjerneskade, problemer med luftvejene muskel- og mavesygdomme. Men hverken militæret eller ministeriet for krigsveteraner vil betale for hans behandling. When he first got home, when he came off the plane, he was very sick. He looked pale. He was real thin. His eyes had a blue hue to them, the whites of his eyes. When he kissed me, this metal, I mean, it was almost like I couldn't kiss him. There was a, such a horrible metal taste. They uh, did some blood work on me, and uh It showed a bunch of stuff in there like uh, trimethylbenzenes and stuff that I shouldn't even have had in my body to begin with. And they were all oil-based products. Well, I think anybody with an IQ of three watching CNN and seeing all that oil smoke would have to realize that someone would be ill. Uh, I mean, that, that's just common sense. Over 800 oliekilder blev sat i brand under Golfkrigen. Den amerikanske regering gav hurtigt Saddam Husseins skylden for miljøforureningen. Men videnskabsmænd har siden bevist, at oliebrændene begyndte mange uger før på grund af den multinationale styrkes bombetogter. We know that there are satellites that take pictures all the time. And there were people who wanted to get access to satellite pictures of the fires. I know from my colleagues that it was impossible to get those pictures. Normally, with no war going on, If you get those pictures. Videnskabsmænd blev nægtet adgang til oplysningerne om oliebrændene, og den amerikanske regering udsendte en meddelelse, som forhindrede videnskabsmænd i at tale om deres arbejde under krigen. I think it would be politically embarrassing to the United States government to have the uh, accusation laid at their doorstep that some of the soot that was coming from The Middle East was due to fire set by Allied bombing. Efter at flere og flere taler om deres symptomer, er den amerikanske regering blevet tvunget til at indrømme, at soldaterne har været udsat for sundhedsfare. En af de første risici i 1991 var depleteret uran. En rapport til kongressen afslørede, at soldaterne ikke havde vidst noget om faren ved at håndtere stoffet. I Storbritannien offentliggjorde avisen The Independent en hemmeligstemplet rapport fra den britiske atomenergikommission. Den satte sundhedsfaren ved depleteret uran i fokus. Because depleted uranium had a military benefit and was available in great abundance and relatively cheaply, virtually free for that. Uh, it was seen as being just a, a, a great military uh, boon. And in the course of that, the longer term environmental and health effects were never really thought of. And so what we saw was uh, uh, the, the large scale use of depleted uranium, some 300 tons 
by weight was expended, and that means 940,000 uh, A-10 bullets and approximately 4,000 or so tank rounds were fired in the 43 days of the war. Had there not been instances of friendly fire, that is, where depleted uranium weapons penetrated U.S. vehicles, perhaps it would not have come to the fore at all. Udarmet uran er et restprodukt fra atomindustrien og har et meget lille indhold af radioaktivitet. Når en depleteret uranbombe eksploderer, afgiver den giftigt støv, der er skadeligt for lunger og nyere, hvis man kommer til at indånde det. I was not informed of us using depleted uranium or the allied forces and I thought, well we went through a heavy artillery area and these these armored tanks and that were blown up by our allied forces. And we sat in that area for over an hour. Efter at have sprang kampvogne i luften med uranbomber, gik mange soldater på jagt efter souvenirer og udsatte sig dermed for risiko ved at indånde støvet. So I'm for a distance though, what looks an interesting one to go have a look. We'd go inside them, round them, just clamber in and uh, see what we could find. So any Iraqi personal effects, whatever, and uh, then back to base. Ian Dowden er en af de få britiske soldater, der vil tale om sin sygdom. Han har mange symptomer på Operation Ørkenstorn syndromet. I've lost weight, which is about a stone and a half since then. Um, I'm fatigued all the time. I just don't want to do anything. My memory on the short term basis just goes. And uh, it was known months ago that this depleting uranium could cause effects yet we've had no warnings and uh, now I just want to know that I'm going to be okay. Selvom sagen har fået mediernes bevågenhed i Storbritannien, er forsvarsministeriet ikke overbevist om at der er et problem. I've issued invitations to anyone to come forward, but so few people have actually done so. Now, you could investigate as to why. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it's because they don't have symptoms that Uh, that can be put together as this form of desert storm syndrome. It's almost as if people are looking for a syndrome. Det er lykkedes for ofre for militær forsømmelse at lægge sag an mod forsvarsministeriet og regeringen og at vinde og få erstatning. I 1992 lagde efterladte efter ni soldater, der var omkommet ved en ulykke, sag an. De blev repræsenteret ved advokat Mark Stevens. Han vandt sagen. The Ministry of Defense uh, and the Army have a, a, a sort of a cadre of, of, of obsessive secrecy, and they will not let any information out uh, unless you absolutely uh, draw it like drawing teeth. Uh, and that's really the, the only way one can liken uh, dealing with the Ministry of Defense. They're insensitive, and uh, they just don't want to know. In Britain and the United States, there's supposed to be democracies. That's the theory. So it's for the people to hold their leaders accountable. And if the people are not prepared to hold their leaders accountable, then it raises the question to what extent uh, Britain and America are not really democracies, uh, but are uh, plutocracies run by uh, corporate elites uh, who decided to go off and steal 50% of the world's oil supply and use the, their own lower, lower middle classes uh, comprising the armed forces Uh, basically as a, a mercenary class and knowingly exposing them to uh, grave harm uh, and damage. I spent 24 years in the military and uh, basically I felt it was my obligation to go, uh, that I owed the people here something back and uh, upon my return and needing our government's help, I feel like I've been totally abandoned. That We don't need you any longer, and you're on your own. Der har været flere forklaringer på, at Irak ikke brugte kemiske våben under Golfkrigen. En af dem var, at de irakiske soldater ikke kunne beskytte sig selv. En anden var, at de kemiske komponenter var spredt på flere forskellige fabrikker, og ikke noget at blive samlet, inden krigen startede. Udsyn er slut på gensyn.